Initiating system one. System one loaded. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome once again to Ikra Kids TV with me your host Khalil Muhammad. Guys, are you enjoying season two? Yes, Khalil. Yes, all those new amazing features. But you know, we're always open to your ideas, guys. You know what I mean? If you've got ideas, you're thinking, yeah, Khalil, it's all good, but why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? By all means, we want to hear from you. The quickest way, you can email me, of course, info at ikra.tv, or even quicker, because I know sometimes you're a bit lazy. You're like, oh, do I have to write an email and wait for a reply? You can go directly to our Instagram page. All you need to do is hit that QR code that is around here somewhere. Hit the QR code. You know how to use a QR code. You get your phone out, put it on camera, and you go on the QR code over the screen. You can even do it from your armchair. You could go like this, ding. It'll take you directly to our Instagram page. Make sure you follow us, make sure you like, and you can drop us a comment on there as well. Also, if you want to send artwork in, if you want to be on our random art studio, you could do that by inboxing me there as well. It's as simple as that. <laughs> right, should we set that quiz question for you guys for part one? <laughs> Let's see what we got. <laughs> what is the special day for Muslims? If you know the answer, keep it to yourself. You don't have to worry about sending it in to us or telling anybody around you, right? You can just say it to keep it to yourself. What is the Mus Muslim special day? <laughs> right, today's show is action-packed. It's filled with goodies. And we try to make it as interesting and as educational as possible. So guys, hope you enjoy it. Let's go for it. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Kun Fire Kun, how things work. The show where we explore together just how things work in the universe. Have you ever wondered how things actually work? Then you need to watch all of our amazing shows. But you can see I'm not alone. Oh yes, give a big welcome to my beautiful co-host, Kid Bilal! Hey, salam alaikum guys and welcome back! Weehee! It's so good to be in our wonderful awesome soul studio! Today, I hope you're all ready to go deep, 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 deep into the murky depths of the oceans of the world. So, get your goggles, your flippers and your snorkels ready because today's show is gonna be awesome! Around 71% of the earth is covered in salt water. We call the body of water the oceans. The ocean is divided into five major oceans, but they are actually connected together. So it looks like we've got a lot to get through today. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't start talking about oceans and seas and ponds and things like that. Don't even talk about large swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you're not oceanophobic, are ya? <laughs> Kid Bilal, that sounds like a made up word to me. But yes, unfortunately, I do get seasick when I'm on a boat or in the bath sometimes. Ugh. Oh, feeling sick just talking about it. Oh, just tell her what the show's about, will you? <laughs> Days. <laughs> okay, Professor Ikra, <laughs> he's getting a bit upset with me. Right, guys, if you have ever wondered how things work, like microwave ovens, cars, planes, and even stuff like the oceans and the galaxy, then this is a show for you. Kun fire could, that's right. We're going to give you the answers and so much more. And if there's anything you'd like us to delve into to figure out how it works, all you need to do is drop us an email on the email right now. Info at ikra.tv. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now tell them why we decided to call our show Kun Fire Kun. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran has says that when he wishes to create something, he simply says kun, fire kun, which means be and it is. 
That's right, my little friends out there. No matter what we talk about, the facts, how the big the planets are, how deep the oceans are, whatever we talk about, all of these facts are only made possible by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember that as we go through all of our amazing shows. Yep! That's right! We want you to remember that when we talk about and describe and even have fun with all of the incredible topics we talk about in this show! Ooh, I've got a feeling oh, I'm going to be sick by the end of today's show. But, 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 okay, okay. Take it away, Kid Bilal. Oh. Don't you worry. You'll be okay, Professor Ikra. Just stick with me and you'll be fine as we dive... <sighs> into the oceans and seas of the world! world. world. The oceans and the seas! All that water makes me feel like going to the toilet! <laughs> now one really good question that kids always ask is what is the difference between an ocean and the sea? Well, seas usually have land on several sides. The Mediterranean Sea is located between Africa and Europe. The Baltic Sea can be found in Northern and Central Europe. You'll find the Caribbean Sea between North, Central and Southern America. And oceans are bigger bodies of water. But let's have a quick look at how ancient civilizations thought the seas and oceans came to be. According to the Iroquois Native American Indians, water animals inhabited the earth before there was any land. When a sky woman fell from her home above, they caught her and dove into the sea to bring up mud. This mud was spread onto the land by the big turtle. This mud they spread onto the back of a big turtle. There it began to grow until it became North America. The Japanese creation myth painted a picture of a muddy woman which covered the world at the beginning of time. A god and goddess, Izanki and Izami, became curious about what was beneath the ocean. Izanki took his staff and threw it into the ocean. As he lifted it back up, some lumps of earth fell onto the water. These became the islands of Japan. Very interesting creation myth there, but let's see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said about the oceans and the seas. SubhanAllah, take it away, Professor Ikra. We're going to talk about ocean water. Oh, goodness me. Ocean water is very salty. Yeah. Uh, the saltiness comes from a chemical called sodium chloride, which is dissolved in the water. The salt that people eat is sodium chloride in the form of tiny, teeny particles. Winds and other forces cause ocean water to be constantly in motion. Large amounts of ocean water move around the planet in patterns called currents. Ocean currents may be warm or even cold. Warm currents tend to bring warm weather and rain to nearly every land on Earth. Oh. Cold currents tend to cause a dry climate. Oh, goodness me, how am I going to get through this? Ooh. The Gulf Stream is a warm current that runs north along the eastern coast of the United States. <coughs> Winds also cause ocean water to move in waves. <coughs> Steady. Powerful waves <laughs> cause big waves. Gentle breezes create ripples. Large swells in ocean water usually come from stormy weather. Oh, mummy! Tides are another way that ocean water moves. Tides are the rise and fall of ocean levels that happens throughout the day. On a beach, for example, the ocean covers more sand in high tide than at low tide. The pull of the force called gravity between Earth and the Moon and the Sun causes tides. <laughs>
Your turn. Oh, my turn. My turn. Oh, your turn. My turn. Oh, your turn. My turn. My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. My turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. My arms getting tired. My turn, your turn, your turn. Stop complaining. Your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. Ooh, ooh, well, ooh, well, my arms really hurt me now. I know, I know, but don't worry. It's good exercise. We should always do exercise to keep ourselves happy and fit. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Initiating system one. System one loaded. Right, halfway through the show. Are you enjoying it? I certainly hope so. Right, guys, do you remember that question I sent you at the beginning of the show? What is the Muslim special day? What is it? After three, say it. One, two, three. Juma! It is Juma! Friday is the special day for Muslims. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. I'm glad you guys knew that. Right, you ready for the next question? Hmm. Right. Mm -mm -hmm 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 -hmm. What are or what is the special festival for Muslims? Special festivals. Festivals. Festival? Festivals, festivals, you know festivals. Don't worry about sending it in to me. It's okay, just keep it in your mind and then we will figure it out later on. Also guys, as we are halfway through the show, remember any feedback, anything you'd like to tell us about our shows, it bes besides this rubbish, right? <laughs> right? If you want to hit that QR code around here somewhere, all you do is hit that QR code, you'll go directly to our Instagram page where you should share, like and follow all of our good stuff as well. Right, hmm. I think we've got a few more interesting bits for you to go. So let's go for it now. <laughs> Initiating system. System one loaded. On the beach, for example, the ocean covers more sand in high tide than at low tide. The pull of a force called gravity between Earth and the moon and the sun causes tides. <laughs> The ocean floor. The ocean floor has many levels. The shallowest part of the ocean, called the continental shelf, lies along the edges of continents. The edges of the continental shelf slopes down towards the deep parts of the ocean, called the basin. At the bottom of the basin are large flat plains. Now, the importance of the ocean, besides making me feel very, very sick, is that the world's oceans are important to life on our planet Earth. Right, let's talk about the importance of oceans besides making me feel very sick. The world's oceans are important to life on our planet, of course. Ooh. Oceans are a great source of food for people around the world. They also provide minerals, oils and natural gas. Cytoplankton and algae create much of the Earth's oxygen. Something that I need right now. <laughs> Oceans also help to keep climate stable by storing heat from the sun. Ooh. People called oceanographers study the oceans to help keep them healthy. <laughs> Some examine the quality of the water and the way the water moves. Oh, don't start that again. Oh. Others look at the structures of the sea floors and the basins. Oh, goodness me, I think I'm going off again. Dude. Another group of oceanographers is interested in the plants and animals that live in oceans. Mm. In some places, deep cracks called trenches cut into the ocean floor. In other places, underwater mountain chains called oceanic ridges rise up from the floor. Earthquakes sometimes occur along the trenches and ridges. Now parts of those ridges contain volcanoes. 
uh, uh, Professor Ikra, I think I have a solution to your oceanophobia. Well, I told you, Kid Bilal, that is a made-up word. Okay, what is your solution then? Let's hear it. <laughs> Don't worry, it will work, inshallah. Right, all you have to do is eat two biscuits in 15 seconds while holding your breath. <laughs> he wants me to eat 10 marshmallows. Are you serious? Yep, in 15 seconds. I seen it on telly. Right, I even got some biscuits for you. Okay, okay, I'll try anything if it means I can cure my sickness. So where are these biscuits then? What? Over there. Let me just go and get those for you. Over there on the table. Ah, here it is. Okay, okay, I'll try anything once. Hold my breath for 15 seconds. Can we have a timer, please? Thank you. Ready? And here we go. <gasps> Right! I've done it. Uh, is, it gonna, is it gonna work anytime soon? Well, in the meantime, let's get on with the show, shall we? Okay, mm, right. Let's wait for that cue to kick in. So let's talk about the oceans of the world. The oceans of the world. Mm. Let's start with the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest of the oceans covering around one third of the planet's surface. It separates Asia and Australia from North and South America. The Pacific Ocean got its name from the explorer Ferdinand Melligan. He called it the Mar Pacifico, which means the peaceful sea in Portuguese. The Mariana Trench lies within the Pacific Ocean. It's the deepest place in the world at 35,797 feet under the ocean. The largest island in the Pacific Ocean is the land of New Guinea in the South Pacific. The Atlantic Ocean! The Atlantic Ocean is the world's second largest ocean. It separates Europe and Africa from North and South America. The Gulf Stream is a powerful warm current that flows in the Atlantic from the tip of Florida to the coast of the United States and then over to Europe. The Gulf Stream has a large impact on the climate of the eastern United States and western Europe. Many, many, many years ago, some people thought the Earth was flat and that ships would just fall off the edge. <laughs> Muslims from Africa proved them wrong by sailing across the Atlantic and discovering America! Hmm, what about the Indian Ocean? The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world. It lies south of Asia and India and separates East Africa from Australia. Ooh. It is the warmest ocean in the world. The Indian Ocean includes the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. Significant islands include Madagascar, the Seychelles and Sri Lanka. Other notable features include the Hawaiian Islands and the Great Barrier Reef just off the coast of Australia. The Arctic Ocean! The Arctic Ocean is in the northern part of the Earth, mainly around the North Pole. It is the smallest and shallowest of the world's ocean. A lot of fresh water enters the Atlantic from melting ice cap. Whoa. For most of the year, the Arctic is covered in ice. Whoa. Wonderful! I feel great! Let's talk about some interesting facts about our seas and oceans. The average depth of the world's ocean is 12,200 feet. Around 97% of the planet's water is in the oceans. Around 80% of the world's population lives within 60 miles of the ocean coast. The world's longest mountain range is actually under the ocean and is called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Wow! 
There is about one million species of animals living in the ocean. <laughs> Much of the world's oxygen is created by cytoplankton and algae. Oceans keep climate stable by storing heat from the sun. We've only explored about 5% of the ocean. And that's it for the seas and ocean, guys. We hope you learned something very interesting today. And you know what, baby Bilal? I think your cure actually works. I feel great. <laughs> See, I told you, I saw you looking a bit queasy before, but you look great now, Professor Ikra. Yes, I can say oceans, seas, water, rivers, oh, oh, wait, I feel a bit sick. Okay, guys, I've got to go. Oh, well, at least it worked for a short while. <laughs> oh my God, I hope he's okay. Uh, uh, Professor Ikra, are you okay? Oh, that's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching and see you soon on another Kun Fire Kun How Things Work. Alhamdulillah, always, always a bit sad to finish our shows. But guys, were you thinking about that question? What was the question, Kali? It was, what are the special festivals for Muslims? <laughs> Eid. Is it Eid? Is it Eid? Of course it's Eid. Of course, we have two Eids. So we're very lucky in that respect. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show once again. And we're looking forward to speaking to you guys and seeing you on our Instagram page. Remember, hit that QR code. It will take you directly over there and we will... Love to see you there and you can follow, like and share and send some of your artwork in. Take care guys, speak to you soon. Asalaamu Alaikum. TV.